Hello lovely people, I'm Kathy and welcome to my channel. Um, today I wanted to show you this little stitch journal that I've just finished. I sh refer to it in a another video which I've uploaded about how to make fabric twine and what you can use twine for, so check that out if you're interested. So the wrap is a piece of crochet, vintage crochet lace which I've stitched to a piece of eco-printed cloth, a bit of old sheet, and I made the twine out of silk and string. So it, it feel, feels quite stiff. It's getting less stiff as I'm handling it. That's because of the, the string. If you want to know more about twining, like I said, check out the twining video. Little vintage button, that's the wrap. The journal is made from an old book cover that was literally falling apart. I had to reinforce it a little bit top and bottom. Can you see that? With a little strip of cloth and some little bronzy brads. On the spine to cover up the, the bits that weren't relevant to me. Here I stuck a little picture from a magazine of a lady with her hair tied up. I'm a lady with her hair tied up, so you know. And my name, Catherine. And it said Pensée et Méditation, which is French for thoughts and meditations. So I covered up the name of the person whose book it was and put my own name on it. Inside, as end papers, I've used eco-printed paper. The corners were quite badly battered and dog-eared, so I've put little corner, book corners on them. And here and there I've stamped relevant words to me. And to anybody who stitches, there's some vintage lace which I've dyed, I think, with red onion skins and iron. Here's a little strip of eco printed paper as a belly band. A little pocket here with some book page. It's actually reinforced with cardstock behind. There's a picture from an old book of some women whispering to each other about stitching, probably. Who knows? more eco-printed paper, the other part of the book page, and some more women. Here's a little pocket with a corner turned down lined with book page again. Some more vintage silk, uh, sorry, the other stuff, lace, do excuse me. Dyed again with tannin from acorns and then dipped in some rusty water to give it a lovely greeny, olive green colour. Here's a card that had some buttons on, which I've made into a little clip, so I can put something in there. Another piece of eco-print paper, bit of sewing machine stitching on it. More eco, more lace, which was, more eco-print paper, sorry, and some lace, which I dyed with indigo. The word so, another little corner. Another book page of some Amazonian warriors. I did crop it because it was quite grisly in parts. <laughs> some of their victims' body parts. Didn't really want those in here. Uh, another little pocket and some more of the lace. And yet another pocket. Lace pockets. Here's a little envelope which I added bits and bobs to. I like the sound of it more than the look actually i'll probably put something in there to hide some more of that it's a bit shiny not really into shiny another little pocket belly band of lace this paper by the way was is just normal uh sketchbook paper not very thick and i tea dyed it i just literally dipped it in tea to let it dry and um that's how you tea dye basically <laughs> Another belly band of eco print. Another little flip spot, tuck spot. This piece of cloth had been rust printed by laying some rusty bits on and leaving it for a while. Another pocket, the word cloth. I liked this little detail. This happened by chance. I would love to say that I designed it thus. But there was a, a corner torn from this piece of eco-printed cardi paper. And when I assembled the signature, it just showed the little corner of that word which was on the flyleaf of an old book page. Just 
liked it. The, this was eco print paper that came from a sketch, a ring bound sketchbook that I carefully took the ring binding out so as not to tear the holes. So I love these little holes. A little scrap of something, the edge of something frayed. Uh, some sheet music underneath, and there it says Gesight, which I believe is German for the time. I hope that's what it means. The music paper was also eco printed. Not much escapes the eco printing in this house, I'm here to tell you. Needle. More indigo dyed vintage lace. And some eco print paper on the back. More lace. And we come to the other end and another piece of eco print for the end paper. And that's the back of it. And I've been very naughty, as I always am, because I plan to stitch little pieces, little, you know, stitch meditative pieces, and then insert them into the book in the pockets under the belly bands and so forth. And you can see that already <laughs> it's full. And there's this thing in the bookmaking world which is frowned upon in some circles, which is known as alligator mouth. And that is when the spine of the book is filled with the signatures, the signatures are the folded pages within, and then you start stuffing stuff in it. And as you stuff stuff in it, gradually you can't close it anymore and you get this going on. I actually, I'm here to confess, like that look. So this is going to be major alligator mouth by the time I finish stuffing it. Anyway, so that's my latest little stitch journal already. I'm waiting for me to stitch some pieces to put in it. So thank you very much for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe, all that stuff if you would like to. Otherwise, thanks for watching anyway, and I'll see you next time for some more cloth tales. Bye!